Hola y bienvenidos a la última lección de 2.1. This is our last lesson for the 2.1 series. We're going to review the vocab. We're going to do a quick review of reflexive verbs, do a quick review of possessive adjectives, and do a quick review of what was our third thing? Oh, ser and estar. So we're going to review ser and estar, possessive adjectives and reflexives, and a little bit of vocabulary. So let's jump right into it. Let's first go to the vocab. We're going to go through these vocab words quickly here. Start with acostarse, stem changer, O-D-U-E. What does it mean? To go to bed, to lie down. Okay, afeitarse. What does it mean? To shave. Yo me afeito, tú te afeitas. Arreglarse el pelo. To fix one's hair. Bañarse. To bathe oneself. Now, cepillarse los dientes brush one's teeth. Um, I was about to say, if, if, uh, if you don't know these, go back and do them. You're, you can't learn them by doing it this way. This is just a quick review of the words to kind of bring them back to the surface here as we review. To brush one's teeth, okay. Cortarse el pelo, yo me corto el pelo, tú te cortas el pelo. Let's cut one's hair. Despertarse, to wake oneself. Ducharse, to shower oneself. Yo me ducho, tú te duchas. Ducharse. Levantarse. To get oneself up. Yo me levanto, tú... Yo me levanto, tú te levantas. Lavarse la cara. Yo me lavo la cara todos los días. To wash one's face. Pedir prestado. Yo pido prestado. To ask to borrow. Pintarse las uñas. Ellas se pintan las uñas. Él no se pinta las uñas. Um, ellos sí se pintan las uñas. Sí, to paint one's nails. Pintarse las uñas. Ponerse. Poner, remember, was to put. Ponerse. To put on oneself. Prepararse. Yo me preparo. Tú te preparas. Él se prepara. To get oneself ready. Secarse. Yo me seco con una toalla. Ella se seca el pelo con el secador. To dry oneself. Vestirse. Vestirse. To dress oneself. Yo me visto, tú te vistes. Ella se viste, él se viste. El agua de colonia. Cologne. El cepillo. The brush. So if el cepillo is the brush, then el cepillo de dientes, toothbrush. El cinturón, el cinturón ayuda con los pantalones, the belt. El desodorante, most people get that one pretty easily. La ducha, the shower. By the way, ducha, shower, ducharse, to shower oneself. El gel gel, las joyas, jewels, or jewelry, los labios, los labios, lips, el maquillaje, maquillaje, not mantequilla, that's something else, I use when you're baking and stuff, maquillaje, makeup, el peine, comb, el pelo, hair, also, sometimes, cabello, a little more glamorous. El salón de belleza, let's not forget that one. El secador, we talked about that one. Secar is to dry. Secador is a blow dryer or a dryer. La toalla, towel. Las uñas, nails. Audición, audition. Boda. Boda, we haven't talked about that one much this chapter. Boda is a wedding, a wedding. Cita, tengo una cita. Date, appointment. Concurso is a contest. So what would a concurso de belleza be? Concurso de belleza would be a beauty contest. Concurso de las bandas. Battle of the bands. Band contest. Un evento especial. That one's pretty easy to figure out. 
enthusiasmado, oh, enthusiasmado, enthusiasmed, or excited. Nervioso, ay, estoy nervioso. Oh, do I need to show you the English? I think you know that one. Tranquilo, calm. Antes de, we worked a lot with this in class yesterday. Before, um, yo me lavo el pelo antes de secarme el pelo. Cómodo, cómodo, comfortable. Depende. ¿Vas a un evento especial? Mm, depende. ¿Quién más va? Who else is going? Depende. It depends. Elegante. Lentamente. Lentamente. Slowly. Luego. Hasta luego. Then or later. Por ejemplo. Por ejemplo. Rápidamente. Quickly. Uy, te ves bien. Oh, you look good. Te ves bien. Ser, we talked about that meaning to be, but we use it with nationality, occupation, characteristics, part of your being. Had an entire lesson on that. Estar, also, whole lesson. On a star, talking about state, location, condition. Okay, we use that one when you're talking about where something is. De oro, something is made de oro. Um, este anillo es de oro. Mis aretes, bueno, no tengo aretes, pero mis aretes son de oro. De oro. En de plata. De plata. Tengo algo de plata. Bueno, esos son de color de plata. De plata. Uh, let's see here. That's the end. It's made of silver. Okay, so we got those out of the way. Now let's talk briefly about um, <clears throat> reflexives, because that's our big one for this chapter. Remember, reflexives, actions that one does to oneself, it has two parts to it. It has the, the main verb, the verb that we've always used, A-R-E-R-I-R -R -R verb, but then we add to the end of it a reflexive pronoun. So instead of just simply to bathe, as in to bathe the dog, now we say to bathe oneself. We conjugate this one. Well, if it needs conjugating, we conjugate this one, but then we always change the reflexive pronoun to match the subject. So instead of saying to bathe oneself, now we want to say I bathe myself. Okay, I bathe myself. But remember what we said over and over, this subject pronoun um, can either go, be usually, before the conjugated verb or connected to an infinitive. So this pronoun's got to go before the conjugated verb, and then the conjugated verb comes second. So yo me baño. They trade places once you conjugate them. Before the conjugated or connected to the infinitive. Let me, uh, let me give you an example of connected to the infinitive. You know that when we have two verbs together, one's conjugated, the other one's not, that, um, I'm sorry, when the first one's conjugated, we usually don't conjugate the second one. You wouldn't say, I want, I bathe. We say, I want to bathe. Quiero bañar. But then now we've got that say that's left over. What are we going to do with that say? Well, before the conjugated or connected to the infinitive. But before we do that, it's got to match the subject. So if it's yo quiero bañar, it's got to switch from say to me. So me. Where are we going to put the me? Quiero bañar. Well, before the conjugated, me quiero bañar. Or... Connected to the infinitive. Quiero bañarme. Me quiero bañar or quiero bañarme. So once again, conjugate the verb if it, if it doesn't have a conjugated verb next to it. And it goes in this uh, reflexive pronoun. Either goes before the conjugated or connected to the infinitive. So let's just do a quick couple of them here. Ducharse. How do you say I shower myself or I take a shower? Yo me ducho. Okay, arreglarse el pelo, to fix one's hair. How do we say, he fixes his hair? Él se arregla el pelo. Okay, if these aren't making sense to you, go back, watch the full lesson. You can't get it all here, there's too much. Okay, that's uh, reflexives in a nutshell. Okay, next thing we had, we had the um, ser and estar. Uh, my nutshell version of that is ser it's a part of your being. It's a part of who you are, what you are. I am a teacher. 
I am a man. I am tall. I am, uh, I am an idiot, whatever. Um, ser is part of your being, part of who you are. We also use it with nationality. Soy, de, or where you're from, soy de California, soy de San Diego. Um, él es de Guatemala. Ellos son de Argentina. Okay, so we use it with nationality. Um, permanent characteristics, soy paciente, um, things like that. So that's, that's serf, it's a part of who you are, your job, um, things that tend to stay the same. Now, uh, you'll notice I'm careful here, I don't say things that are permanent, because that's not necessarily the case. Um, jobs can change, but it's things that tend to stay the same. Okay, estar, like the English word state, they come from the same place. Estar is a state, a location, a condition, state, condition, location. I am nervous. Estoy nervioso. Um, location, estamos en la clase, um, condition, está, oy, mi escritorio está desordenado, it's in a disorganized state, so state, condition, location. There's some other things too, but this is just a simple, uh, this is beyond temporary, and I'm sorry, permanent and temporary, a little bit better here, ser, it's a part of who you are, part of your being. Um, estar, state, condition, location. Again, if that doesn't refresh it for you, go back and watch it. Um, remember, ser is irregular. Soy eres, es somos on. Soy, soy, soy eres, es somos on. That's a little tribute to Señor Wally. If you have time, by the way, go check out SeñorWally.com. Great website. Uh, oh, and a star. Estar is also irregular. Estoy goes to the O-Y ending. And then we've got accented conjugations. Estás, estás, estamos, están. And let's see, to wrap it up here, we have the possessive adjectives. We already talked about mi libro, tu mochila. We did that in Spanish 1. But in Spanish 2 now, we learned the longer ones. Es mío, it is mine. And we could also do a longer version. El libro es mío, the book is mine. You can also say el libro mío, the book of mine. El libro es mío, the book is mine. El libro mío, the book of mine. Or, es mío, it's mine. Mío, tuyo, suyo, nuestro, suyo. Okay. And remember that the ones that end in... Mío, tuyo, su... Yeah, all of them. They adjust to match gender and number of the noun that they modify. Grammar talk. In other words... Um, it doesn't, the person that's possessing doesn't change it from mio to mia. It's, rewind. These are called possessive adjectives. Adjectives describe a noun. Possessive, they describe possession. So a possessive adjective is describing a noun by saying who possesses it. So if it's describing a noun, it's going to match in gender number with the noun that it's describing, not the person that possesses it. So, el marcador es suyo. Even if I'm saying it's hers, I would still say el marcador es suyo. It's hers. Suyo because marcador is masculine. Okay. Um, mío, tuyo. Uh, los marcadores, los marcadores míos. The markers of mine. Son míos. Es mío. Es mío. Todo es mío. Bueno, el escritorio no es mío. Es del distrito. Del distrito. It belongs to the district. Es el escritorio suyo. Okay. So that's a quick review of, of the um, possessive adjectives. So once again, all that vocab we just went through. Reflexives. Um, ser en estar. Possessive adjectives. With those, you'll be solid on the test. Most of you in class, I, I feel like you guys are getting these. I hear you talking about them and talking with them. It's great. Now, if you are in my class, here's your little hint for watching the review video. There may be some extra credit tomorrow on the capitals of Central American countries. Capitals of Central American countries. Now, don't give up studying the regular stuff to do the capitals because regular stuff is more important. Okay, eso todo. Gracias por escuchar. Buena suerte en el examen. Adiós.